Nice fella. Just off that shadow. Or off that yeah, and there's a whole bunch of them on this ridge. Bad men turn good women wrong. Make bastards out of their sons. And fools of themselves. They're only judged by God and the fruits that they've dropped. And left there to rot all the weeds that they grew. Never end. They slave the whole human race, making dollars off our fate, while your hands getting stained. And transaction time is all we got left. So count your cards and hold your breath for the fool's state of mind. But hey, it's a paycheck, it's a paycheck, God only knows.
thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching, sticking with us through all of it, through the good days, the bad. Um, we've had some super high, awesome days. And we've had some days like this one that you just watched. You know, it was uh, it was just another day of hunting. And anybody who goes on adventures knows that they're not always planned. They're not always going to work out perfectly. And not for the lack of trying this day, but we couldn't pull it together. I had a deer tag, a sick black tail deer tag, that we were hoping to fill after Jay got his goat killed, um, if we had the time and the weather worked. We also had some other friends that had a goat tag that came in to hunt with Jeremy, and uh, of course we also wanted to fish. That was all, all the priorities of that hunt. So yesterday you got to see the, the fishing was awesome. Um, I guess that was a couple days ago, but we got to, you know, the day we killed Jay's goat was, was a highlight of the trip for sure. That was just, the days in the mountains were just, everything worked, you know, which is perfect. So the next day when I had a deer tag and we were going to go try to help Jeremy and, and our friends hunt some goats, we stopped a couple times on the way in, saw some does, saw some nannies. We're like, do we go after the does thinking maybe there's going to be some bucks? Do we split up, try to do deer and goat in the same day? And we got over there and noticed that there was definitely some, some weather rolling in. It seemed sunny and awesome, but the wind was picking up and we had spotted some bellies and it was like, let's go. And so we all just team effort, rallied, pulled up the mountain as, as fast as we could. And we no more than got to the top and it was just like shoo, fog just ate us. The wind, we probably could have handled, you know, we could have gotten close and, and made the shot a little closer, but the fog was just nasty. We sit up there all day in the fog thinking it's going to lift. It never lifts. We kind of give up and start heading back off the mountain. And we dropped about, I don't know, 400 feet in elevation. And it just, we turned around and all that fog we were just in was gone. And there were goats all over the mountain mostly nannies but there was a pair of billies that were like those are the ones where you need to go after so we made a whole new you know regroup new plan and hustled across this basin to go get close to them we get up there decide that yeah they're definitely a billy that we want to take we set up for the shot you guys see it all you know and it was just one of those things where shot didn't connect we get over there closer and we had the opportunity to like kind of move a little bit and get another shot and then that fog just swallowed us again um it was actually super frustrating because we could see the goats like in the fog occasionally but they were more like ghosts and you couldn't tell like i see the shape of a goat but i couldn't see whether it was the billy we were after whether it was just some nannies whether i was just seeing things so it was that was hard to turn around and walk off that mountain knowing that we had a chance and we didn't make it but um it, you know, it's part of hunting, so it's just, it was a great day, we had great friends, a little bummed I didn't get to see the deer that we were after, you know, we had the tag, had the gun, had, was on, on the place where the deer live, and uh, I think I was just focused too much uphill, because those goats are, one, they're too easy to spot when you can see them, and two, they're, they're just awesome, so I, I didn't do a good job of focusing on the deer hunt, so that's definitely something I want redemption on. In fact, I think we're, we're already planning a trip to go back and try to figure that out. So, anyways, thank you guys for sticking with us, watching. Thanks for the support. Thanks for hitting subscribe. Thanks for entering on the giveaways. So, tomorrow, is we're back in Arizona with our buddy Hunter and his elk tag. Um, the conclusion of that hunt. He is uh, in a definitely in a different environment. They are they're sweating and hoping that they can get some water. And we had too much of it on Kodiak, so... So tune in tomorrow, check out Hunter's Hunt with the muzzleloader on the bull elk. I think he might actually get it done. Um, it's been awesome. Thanks, guys. Check back.